A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of your listeners. Welcome back to your own channel, See the Soul, the Truth Lies Within, a YouTube channel where you can listen to your blessings on a daily basis and share them with others and also check out other different topics in the same channel playlist. So what does Baba have to say today? He talks about soul consciousness and experiencing voiceless life like an angel. Let's get into the details. Let's get the heading first. Baba says in today's blessing, may you be soul conscious and experience being voiceless. Voiceless means without any sins, without any impure thoughts in your angelic form. An angel is always flying up above the earth, right? Why? Because they are lighter in their mind. So an angel is somebody who is lighter in the mind, who doesn't have any connection or desires of this world, is living in the world but is desireless of this old world. That soul or that person is an angel who does things not for the sake of receiving anything from this world, of this world, from the people of this world. So okay, let's get into the details. Baba says the children who become soul conscious. Now God is 100% soul conscious. He doesn't take birth, doesn't feel hungry, doesn't sleep, doesn't give birth, doesn't work for money. He works for making impure souls like us into pure souls. For that we have to first consider ourselves to be impure, right? Otherwise, if we have got the ego that, no, I am pure, everybody else is impure, then God cannot work on us. God cannot give us his blessings. So we have to first acknowledge that we have become impure because of impure thoughts. So God's biggest work or the highest work of God is to turn billions of souls who have become impure to pure, turn this earth which has become totally impure to pure that's the highest work none of the governments can also do that work it's only godly work so god says the children who become soul conscious so god teaches us how to become soul conscious he gives us the knowledge that consider yourself to be a soul and then do every karma so that your karmas are not impure because we think of ourselves as body then we get into i me myself and mine and we do all wrong karmas because of that reason so we change from body consciousness to soul consciousness so children who become soul conscious easily become viceless that means they don't have any viceful thinking with the soul conscious stage you can experience the viceless stage even in your thoughts that means when we consider ourselves to be souls and even if we go into let's say deep sleep at night we don't get any form of negative impure dreams or when we are throughout the day considering ourselves to be souls then we don't look at other people and differentiate, distinguish or dis in with disdain or any kind of disrespect with others. We are souls. We are all children of God. We have to give respect to everybody so as to come in the eyes of God as godly children. Those who are viceless to this extent cannot be attracted by any type of impurity. That means impure thinking or any type of attraction of the five elements. That means five elements means what? This phone is made of five elements. Clothes are made of five elements. Property is made of five elements. Jewelry is made of elements, right? So we don't get attracted to those kind of things. Or any type of attraction of the five elements. They are called angels. Why? Because they don't think or do things for the sake of receiving anything of this old world or anything elemental. The main purpose is to come in the heart of God. The main purpose is to come in the eyes of God and not to attain things from the people of this world. The people of this world are their own brothers and sisters. On the basis of soul consciousness, everybody is a brother. So, child of God. So, what will another brother give to me for doing good in this world? It is God who can give something to me through his blessings. Not physical, but through blessings, through love, through peace which God can bestow upon us. But worldly people will give you something today and take away something from you tomorrow. So that's why God says angels don't depend upon receiving anything of this old world. Or they don't desire anything of this old world, even though they're living in this world. They are called angels. For this, what do you do? To feel like this, to be like this, to be in this state of mind, while being in your corporeal body. We souls are in a body, right? Then God says remain stable in your incorporeal, that means soul conscious stage. That is what we practice in Brahma Kumaris every single day. We learn to be soul conscious. We learn to 
think like a soul what is it to think like a soul was it, it what does it feel like to acknowledge ourselves to be a soul and while doing any karma whether you're doing your office work whether you're bathing whether you're you're washing your clothes whether you're driving or you're doing any kind of karma how can you do it while being soul conscious what is that deeper knowledge about our souls that god gives us in those seven days you can also explore that while doing the seven days course getting into the details of it in depth of it so that you also become lighter like an angel have a blessed day om shanti